Good old bathroom project I just, just wrapped up. One last thing to do is install a shower door. But, <clears throat> so here's a rundown. This is a show Shiggy Band cedar plank shiplap. It's been uh, pretty heavily burnt and disfigured and then stained over top. We have faux rusted porcelain tile. This is pretty cool. It's actually like glossy, so nothing sticks to it really, but it's textured so it doesn't look glossy. It's weird. It's really weird. You can see it in the reflection up there maybe. And then we've got penny floor with a custom copper drain. That's just going to be siliconed in place. Uh, quartz surround, and as you can have a glass door there, that's on order. We've got a square body toilet, smooth side as always, like I recommend in every bathroom I do. You should always have a smooth side toilet, it's super easy to keep clean. Uh, this one, again, the valve always gets in the way, but it's kind of cool. We use shark bite, and the valve flips down, but when it's on and when you don't want it, accessible or seen, you can actually turn the valve up out of the way. And then this back wall behind the toilet and vanity has a shiplap on it painted black. And then a ledge here. And then we come to the vanity. We've got hand hammered copper sinks with black faucets, uh, antique gold gilded mirror. Kind of hard to see but we've got a brass eh, brass ish fixture up there. And then this antique vanity. Uh, instead of deleting these drawers, we recut the uh, dovetails down and put blocking inside so they don't fall out. So they're just super short drawers, but they're still usable. You can still get your hand in there. And on this floor as well, it's done in a real penny covered in epoxy. Uh, the floor in this bathroom is about five days worth of work alone. And then this was an existing tub, so don't mind the uh, the dirt on it. I'm not honestly sure what it was. We weren't replacing this. And then this, uh, we're waiting for that to come in the mail. The uh, tub, the filler spout. This is just like a black rusted faux look tile, which is still pretty cool. And the customer just wanted two rows like that wrapped around. Looks super clean. Uh, he's gonna hang artwork on these walls up here. This was the existing door. I think the customer is going to paint that trim black, but I'm not sure. He wanted to do all the painting, but then when it came to installing his vanity, and this is something that I hate doing, we had to install a vanity close to that wall because we didn't have the room really to shift it over and get a toilet paper holder on this properly, cleanly. So I had to paint the bathroom before the vanity was installed. No big deal, but I, I just don't like doing that because if you ever want to change the color it's impossible to paint in there. You'd have to undo the vanity. Uh, there you go. Run down to my latest uh, creation.